Oh, hey guys, name's Fen. Please do not leave the video. There will in fact be intelligible English in this video. Thank you. Good things apparently come to those who wait. So I guess I'll just wait. Okay, I'm bored. Now here's the other place where I was gonna use a flash bomb. Uh, also, I got told the woeful tale of why this mission really is so dark. It's quite tragic, but I guess I shouldn't s who are you? Yeah, this guy's sensitive. Maybe uh, oh what? Oh, what? <laughs> what? What? It was a gas arrow up here. Really a gas arrow? That's a good reward. What the heck man? Yeah, I guess I won't go that way I'll go back down this other way because pff, Not much else to be done. Hey guys, my name's Fen. Playing and playing and playing and playing and playing and playing and there's a handy barrel. I just got a really, really strange weird idea. Actually. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, it's here. Anyway, this strange weird idea is something I've never tried before. But I guess I'll try it now because seriously. Also, there's a door down there. I, well, I guess I could go in here. Let's get sidetracked a bit. Let's turn on a light so it's not so spooky. There's some wood. It's spooky wood. That's a door that can't ever be got into. You could tell because it can't ever be got into. Here's some more rats that you can slaughter if you so choose. There's uh, there's another live rat that you can slaughter if you so choose. It's pretty freaking amazing. And now that I can see symbols, I can see symbols. Uh, but there's this secret door here. How am I gonna get into it? I don't friggin' know. But there's the uh, earth gem. So that's my objective complete. It's just a bonus objective, but you know, it's a fun one. So now that we're totally done with this place, never coming back here again, there's absolutely nothing interesting going on in that sort of curtain area whatsoever. Don't even try scratching it, you stupid clawed beast. What? There's no cats watching this, and if they were, they wouldn't appreciate being called stupid, I'm sure. So the really weird idea that I had was, uh, well, let me just, let me just see. Okay, I can scroll through my inv. Now let's just scroll forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever instead of just picking some- I'm really starting to be irritated by that. See, I got this metal bar and I'm just thinking like, wouldn't it be weird to stick the metal bar out through the hole? Like, I don't know what purpose that would serve like ever. But you know, oh and you can't do that either, you gotta go all the way up. Oh man. What is this hole for? What is this hole for? What is this hole for? I mean, I'm supposed to just burn this coffin, aren't I? Maybe I'm supposed to put somebody else into it. Jesus Christ, I don't freaking know. Maybe I can stick some item on this pillow other than me, huh? I guess not. This, I suppose, is also an opportune time to talk about a little cheat you can do. Uh, people have mentioned it on the forum, so it's not a secret or anything. Uh, a few people, including me, have suddenly had an occasion where their light gem was just dark all the time, even if they were in bright light. And I found that the reason is this, this boat, because it moves, I guess... Oh, damn it. Because it moves, I guess you can't have a real shadow under it. But dude wanted to make it dark under it anyway, so he did some sort of uh, scripted darkness under it. You see, I've got my light on, and it's still dark. And if you just kind of, like, fiddle around with the edge, you can kind of make it so that the scripted darkness never uh, deletes itself. <laughs> so now I'm up here, and now I'm in bright light, and now my... My light will never be on. The only way to reset it is to fiddle around with the edge again, or just go under the boat again, I guess, and then come back out. And that will, yeah, just go under the boat and come back out, and then your brightness will be bright again. So, that's a thing you can do. And, you know, I won't lie, it does make it a lot less annoying in uh, a certain part of the mission to have that cheat but I just kind of feel bad using it, so I guess I won't use it unless I absolutely just get so freaking angry that I friggin' have to. So here we are back to normal. Just letting you know, because it is sort of a frustration reducer if you happen to want to do that. I mean, I don't friggin' know. So anyways, yeah, I can go up in here now, I guess. I, yeah, like apparently there's nothing up here. Apparently I'm just mumbling. Just kind of here, you know, little house. No problem. Now, there's a few things I could do. I kind of want to go back to the prison, which I think might be the source of a big old choice that you can make in the game. But I don't quite know how to make it. I'm so bad at making choices. But okay, I'm actually going to try to go out through here first because I want to know why I could swim through here last time, but I can't now. Oh, but I can now. 
Yeah, he saw me, even though I'm completely in the dark. Wait a minute. Yeah, I can I can swim underneath here. It's great. That guy. That guy who's walking. Wait a minute, where the hell am I going? That guy who's walking, uh, as you'll see later, on top of these boards. He's one of those glitchy guys that can see in pure darkness, like that one archer from the Seven Sisters. So you gotta be like... You gotta be like thing-shaped around him, okay? Go all the way down to the bottom of the lake. Possibly not see anything, even when you're at the bottom. It's amazing. Listen to the sounds around you. Listen. I think I might be able to climb up here. So for some reason, they open this gate here once you come through once. Or something. I'm pretty sure there's a ladder up here, though. Let me just... Oh, there it is. Okay. What? Jeez, I can't see a goddamn thing. Ugh. Okay, there it is. <laughs> no problem, that's my motto. But this idiot still sees, and I have no flash bombs, so I gotta be real quick about this. Oh, I forgot! I don't want to ever use water arrows because... Seriously. What the hell am I doing? Oh my god! And he's an archer. No, this guy's an archer. Okay, maybe I got it wrong. Whatever! I don't want to put- I, I know I have less water arrows than I did last time. What the hell's wrong with my skiznils up in here? Hello? Okay, what do we got? The lower gate needs to be fixed, but until then, use the rod to close it if it gets stuck. Yeah, well, maybe I just didn't find the gate properly when I was fiddling around there. I'm trying to swim last time. There's a rod, I guess. But- Oh, the guy's up above! No wonder. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry I'm just mumbling because I'm trying to, like, remember stuff and be good and not die. So, yeah, but there's this other annoying guy, unless that's him, who I think is walking along here. That you, he just sees you all the time. Or something. Is that you? you don't want to mess with me? Yeah. Just rats again. It's much easier to take it from this side, though. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I mean, my playthrough off camera before was made much nicer by me abusing the light glitch. I'm sorry to say. But it just was. Anyways, here it takes you back to the roof in case you want to go onto the freaking roof. I mean, I don't know. Well, I'm going to try something I have never tried before. And I'm just going to skip the prisons for now. And I'm just going to keep going in this general direction, which... Oh, right. Okay, I remember when I got to go now. Yeah. And just see what's different, if anything. Some of you may not know what I'm talking about. Others may. Whoa. Okay, so now that you can see the symbols, you can go down to uh, this door here. And there's a door symbol that kind of tilts. It's pretty adorable. Go through this horrid door. Also, there's a different way I could get into here as well. That's an evil pool, so obviously don't ever go into it ever. This is uh, a floating heart. Can't really do anything with it, except you can, and I'll sort of talk more about that in a minute after I'm done with this. And this just leads you back out to this place with this secret door and the rats. So... Okay, the thing is, this heart, you can do something with it, and I'm not sure if what I did is intended or not. Basically, you can use the uh, hand of glory on it. Um, that doesn't seem right to me, it seems a little weird, so I'm not sure if that's an oversight or what. And also, apparently the forum thread said that there's a bug involving doing stuff with this heart, where you might want to do this last instead of now. So... I'm just gonna leave that for now, and maybe we'll see what uh, what goes on at some later date. So, this pool here is a pool here, and I guess I'll just dive right in. Now I end up in this horrible, awful place, and I can go down to the trickster's realm to my heart's content. I mean, my heart is very easily contented with tricks, so, yeah. This is obviously the greatest place for me. And it's the evil realm, and we are no longer on any maps, because it's evil. And there's a switch. And I've totally forgotten what it does. What does it do? Wait. What the heck? What, what, what the hell did that do? Did that, like, turn this pool on or something? I guess so. Let me see. That's strange. Yeah, I guess you can... Oh. What? Wait. What? Yeah, I'm confused! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I might 
know where no i don't know do i know where i am i don't f oh my god this this is this place right yeah okay so so this is the alternate way in now you see back here there is this uh wall a wall where you basically just chuck this uh, sunburst device over here and oh i guess you gotta shoot it too can you shoot it with brown heads maybe I don't know. Let's just fire it. And it didn't work. Weird as hell. Maybe it only works from the other side. Anyway, this leads you into the place with the holy water shrine and the elevator up. So, if you wanted, you could come into this place from that way as well. Just, just saying. But also, there should be some form of thing over here. Because this will just take you back down to the same pool, I think... Or some sort of similar one. That's weird. I know there's something over here. I thought there was... Oh, there it is. <laughs> so here we are. It's the Egyptian wee 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 temple with, you know, stuff in it. It's amazing. I have my loot goal already, though, so it is not of any terribly great consequence. But it's there if you want. And now I can go back in here and possibly die. Bloop. Or not. Okay, so I think I'm in the same place now. <laughs> Yeah, so that was the switch. There was possibly some loot here. And some more loot here. And I guess this room is... Whoa, shit. Don't want to do that. There's uh, zombies walking around here. Which is one of the things that is made less annoying by far by abusing the light glitch. Shit. Go away. Just... That, that's kind of why I told you that. Because, I mean, this this place really gets kind of tedious if you get seen a lot because you kind of got to do a lot of waiting but you know I don't like waiting in Thief but that's just me so if you want you could destroy this guy but there's no real reason so I guess I'll just leave it alone nothing is truly invisible oh so now we come to this strange place and you see the thing about this place is there's five symbols up there right and you got to figure out what to turn those five symbols into. So, there's these symbols by the door. This one resets the symbol order. Okay, life is a gamble, and what you expect is not always what you get. But when it is, then cherish the moment and keep it in your heart. Yeah, so this one teleports you back here and also resets those symbols if you've changed them. Also, there's zombies walking around here that you got to avoid. And... If you go through the doors, then it it makes the symbol by the door appear up there. On the right side instead of the left for some friggin' reason. <laughs> and if you ever want to just get back to the beginning, you can click the U, but that resets these things. So we got to find out what those symbols are. And it's kind of weird, but I guess I'll get to that. So I'm just going to reset them there. They're reset, and I'm going to go back here and do stuff that might be considered slightly less brain-bending. Because obviously, you know, brains... Elastic bands, brains, elastic bands, saying words in, in series. Oh my god, so you can go into these awesome little round holes in the walls with arrows that look really cool aesthetically. <laughs> and and especially these look really, really cool aesthetically. Whoa, shit. I forgot about you. Oh no, you've got light too. <sighs> god damn it, I forgot about this guy. Okay, I'm gonna kill this guy though, because he's walking. Can't have that. All right gone and he didn't even scream we're all different yet we stick together so you can also kind of go up here and the funny thing is these doors also seem to have symbols and sometimes the doors have different symbols beside them than the ones that are like going into them i think and sometimes they have none it's really confusing and if you go out here you kind of end up here so yeah basically it's a teleporting door sort of maze and you kind of have to end up well i guess i won't Spoil it. Instead, I'll just do it. But first, this auxiliary place over here, where I can get some scroll, I guess. This is the Boniface Chronicles number one. We are the New Order. We were once a part of the Hammerite Order, but we believed in an entity more in the likeness of humans, with two sides complementing each other. Chaos and order will always exist within us, so why can we not embrace both sides and learn the way of balancing the two sides to make the whole stronger? 
when joining the Hammerite Order. We were taught that we are all built in the likeness of the Builder. But if that is the case, then chaos and order must also exist within the Builder, making the Trickster and the Builder the same entity. This was called heresy by our Hammerite brethren, and we were banned from the Order. The principle of chaos. The principle of chaos is pure emotion in all its forms. Use it one way and it will destroy your enemies, but use it another and it will deceive you. Principle of order. The principle of order is pure thought in all its forms. Use it one way and it will heal your allies, but use it another and it will unroot them. The principle of balance is pure emotion and pure thought in equal measure. Use it always and it shall not deceive you. Use it always and it shall not unroot the ones you love. So, I think the, these are definitely numerical, I think, but that doesn't really have anything to do with stuff which I'll explain later. I don't know, I, I kind of want to, like, get to the puzzles I'm doing before I go blabbing about them, because it'll be less confusing that way, and also, you know, less confusing that way. Yeah, just saying. But, okay, there should be some other button around here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This thing on the wall... This thing on the wall. Now, I know what to do with this, but I mean, I don't want to jump ahead of myself. I might be supposed to read it somewhere. Eh. Eh, I don't know. I'll just do it, because I think I'll... Yeah, I'll just do it. Remember those uh, symbols on the cell wall, the sort of K-looking, R-looking symbols, where, like, right side up is body and upside down is mind? Well, we have to make the mind symbol here, just for some reason, so let's, let's do it pretty cool and you get to go into the blind water it's pretty metal <laughs> this place is actually really cool like I say this mission it's like it's has some bugs and it's kind of frustrating in the darkness yeah but I just had this fondness for it. I don't know what it does, but it's it's just a thing, yeah. The Boniface Chronicles number freaking whatever. They are coming. It is in truth a glorious day for our one and only true savior. This might be the fifth one, so it's got like the letters and stuff. And here you got these two hearts. And like, I don't even know if I should take them. There's the king's heart and the queen's heart. And they're just hearts and stuff. I guess we'll figure out what to do later. Like, I could tell you all the stuff that happens, but I kind of want to get there at first, like I said. So that's this room. It's neat looking aesthetically, speaking like a robot, and I think if you go down... Yeah, okay, if you go back up, it'll take you up here. So you want to go down, and if you go back up this, then it will just take you back up to the surface, I think. Uh... Yeah, wow, that's a dark. It's very convenient though and really cool and surreal. You just like sort of like warp around and stuff, but let's go further down still. Oh crap. No light, please. Okay, so this is the real meat of this area. And it's tricky and stuff. Yeah, and there's zombies walking around and also there's these guys and this is dark. That didn't used to be dark. Okay, so these guys have got symbols. Uh, beside them. There's one, two, three, four, and then there's also a fifth one over here, which is actually a switch, so I don't know if it counts. And... No, it doesn't, because it's the same as that one, so there's four symbols here. But you need five symbols for that, uh, teleporty door thing. So, it's like, what on earth even, right? Also, there's one guy missing. I don't know what the heck the significance of that is. Could be because I killed a haunt first or something, but I don't think so. I don't know. So, I still don't really know what's the deal with... ...with these symbols, like, at all. It's very bizarre, but... Never you mind, I'll, uh, figure it out again. Hopefully. And I think this is just a light switch, actually. Let me see. Yeah, so you don't want to switch it. Ever. Like, I don't even know why it's there, other than to trick you, so I guess I do know why. It's there! And now, there's these symbols here that are not switches in these rooms. And this is something I had to look up, because it's kind of obscure. Like, once you know, then you kind of go, yeah, okay, I get it. That makes sense, but it is kind of obscure. But basically, and this might be noted down somewhere that I'm forgetting, but uh, basically the, um, the number of coffins in these rooms is significant. So, like, three here. This... This symbol means three, I guess. Either that, or you just have to put it in third in some puzzle or other. Oh my god, I'm getting ahead of myself, and I'm just, like, mumbling now. Okay, so basically just note these symbols. So it's like you got the the S-looking symbol. S-looking symbol equals three. The kind of uh, 
T looking symbol is what it oh whoops that's my cheat unstick key this is two I guess so the kind of T looking symbol is two and this is just activating this door which takes you back to the frickin sewers and while I'm here in the frickin sewers I might as well just do one small thing that you can do here if you so choose just another way to get around is that uh, this thing in the wall now has a symbol by it and it leads you into the torture chamber where I let out the super zom who doesn't do no harm to no one but leaving that aside this is just a nice little shortcut so oh shit Oh, good thing. Okay, good thing. So let's continue onwards. You guys probably can't see any of this. I myself can barely see any of this, and I'm playing in the dark and in the dark. So, uh, you're welcome. Okay, so I don't think... Okay, so there's... One, two, three, four. So the... <sighs> squiggly, whatever the hell that is. I'll just call it P and C, because it kind of looks like P and C. Not at all, but... Yeah, okay. P and C equals four. Hello, please type the thing. There you go. And uh, there should be like at least one more, I guess. This is one, which is just one, but I guess I'll note that down anyways because, oh, I'm never going to remember that one. So that's what? That's, that's four. That's four. Don't I need one more? One, two, three, four, five, six. So basically what I'm thinking... Shut up. Okay, I haven't got that symbol down yet, so I need to find that. Okay, but also that, that O symbol is zero, I think, because if you go up here, you can see uh, that symbol, and there are no coffins, and there's this thing in the floor. None are resting here. Wake them not from their slumber. Yeah. So it's like, hey, that means zero. So basically, we got, like, the O is zero, and I'm missing the U, but I can infer so I won't even bother with the U. So these symbols here, like I don't know if these represent numbers directly or if they're just the order I have to, hmm, let me see. Pay the ancients your respect. Bethink yourself of kin. You must remember that wherein their strength is lying. I think they do represent direct numbers. So like you want to go in order of numbers, I guess. So we go like the one, the T, the S, PC thing and then the U is 5 so it's like 0, 1, 2, 3, the S, this thing is 4, that must be 5, yeah the U is the last, the Omega, so here's this room where you put stuff, I've tried it and it doesn't work, I must have to do something else first, but anyways yeah you get these uh, rituals. Let's read the rituals. They're amazing. General instructions. Whenever a number is presented, place the item in the numbered position and see the red smoke. The order in which to place the items is not important. Ritual of destruction. Something taken from the target. Two holy ink. Mi mix blessed water and ink. Yeah. Three, an empty scroll. Four, your own self. Five, something powerful in which love for the target is contained. Place the items in their respective positions and then read the ritual spells. Uh, true and strong. Ritual of summoning. See the vessel in the skies above you. Make something in the image of what you want to summon and bathe it in the tears of the vessel above you. Wait. Watch. Listen carefully. Beware that if that which you want to summon is divided, the vessel which holds it may approach you, but it will not let go. This is something that's confused me and a bunch of others as well. There's the ritual spell. I can't read it because I can't read it. There's empty scrolls. It's freaking incredible. And then here's the other thing, thing. The Boniface Chronicles number two, I guess. The first thing we did was allow women to join our new order. We also encouraged our followers to join in the marital bed, so to speak. <laughs> Just as my wife and I had already done. I was still a high priest within the old order at the same time, and when my wife entered her blessed state, we both decided it was time to come true and speak openly about the new order, although we knew we were going to get banned. To give us time to reform, we made the old order believe that we had split up after being banned, and, to further escape the scrutiny of our former brethren, we moved to live on a pair of remote, unnamed islands, of which one was mostly cliffs and proved hard to inhabit, but as the new order we managed. The other island was more level and was overgrown with thick grass and a flora of wildflowers, so that's where we built our temple and burial grounds. Soon after the temple was fully erect, we were blessed with a daughter. We called her... 
Genoifa, Genoifa Boniface, Boniface after the islands as they were called by passing sailors. May the balance in her be strong. The two fundamental principles soon proved evident in our beloved Genoifa. Genoifa? Uh, she had the power to destroy, but also the power to heal. And we knew that she, with the right guidance into the third principle, would one day become a strong but fair ruler for all our followers. Or just some of them, perhaps. So, I'll be coming back here later. Awesome, like, visual design there with the symbol and stuff. But, now that I've just, like barreled through a bunch of stuff that takes everybody freaking forever to uh, figure out. I think I'll leave it here. So see you guys next time. Bye for now.